IM ROM mode configuration. If the IM was being deployed as a ROM mode, typically IM was placed at the exit gateway of the local area network. Biggest change to the original network and possibly affect the internal network performance, but it will fulfill all the functions supported in the IAM. Commonly, it also requires user to configure more steps such as static route, NNT, and DHCP. Only the internal user able to reach the outside internet. This is a simple case study that client deployed the IAM in the route mode. It will be a layer 3 switch being deployed under the local area network of the IAM. IAM devices also serve as the gateway to proceed on internal user to the internet. The IAM was connected to the ISP devices with the optical fiber cable and assigned the static public IP address. In this diagram, we can see that IAM was connected to two different subnets and we have to configure for LAN and WAN interface to different subnet also. Before we start to configure it, I will briefly describe the step we have to follow in the particle. First of all, we have to access the web UI of the IAM via Ethernet 1 port with the 10.251.251.251 IP address. After logging to the devices, we can select the route mode as our preferred deployment mode. And following step is to assign the IP address to the LAN, WAN, and the MC interface. Because the IAM serves as the assist gateway for the internet user, we have to configure the NAT to translate private address to the routable public address. At the end, add in the necessary routing configuration in the IAM, then the route mode was considered as a complete. We can hash on a breaker to familiar the configuration step. Like I mentioned, we have to access the web UI of the IAM via Ethernet 1 port with the 10.251.251.251 IP address. So we can enter it in the UI bar. And it will direct us to the home page and prompt for the username and password. By default, both the username and password of the administration account are admin. And remember that character S should be uppercase in the password field. After all, we are successfully logged into the unit. However, the IAM will ask for the change of the administration password. I will leave it as a default. User can see the new web UI design of the IAM. There is some change occur in the IAM version 11.0. If user look for the deployment mode, we can find it at the network deck under the appliance management category. So this is the basic configuration of the IAM. The IAM was being deployed as a ROM as well. However, the current setting is not suitable for our case study. We have to make change for the coding to the diagram. So we click the setting move to the configuration interface. User can notice there is the three options available which are route mode, bridge mode and bypass mode. Of course, we will select the route mode to deploy the IAM as a SC gateway. We can click next to the next page for the interface selection. In here, I will left all port rules as the default and didn't make change for it. The Ethernet one is still the same as the LAN port, as well as the WAN port and the DMC port. Next, we can assign an IP address to each port in the IAM. I did follow the topology and assign an IP 192.168.1.254/24 and connected to the layer 3 core switch. So we forward to the net page to configure the WAN interface. There are three types of address available for it. For the auto assigner, I will get the IP address automatically with the TSCP. The PPPOE will require user to enter the username and password. In this breaker, I will focus at the specifier by assigning a static IP address for it. According to the topology, the IP address will be the 192.200.200.254.84. I also directly point to the ISP devices with the IP address 192.200.200.1.
and finally simply assign a public DNS server 8.8.8.8 for my preference DNS. Next will be the DMZ port. According to the diagram below, Ethernet 1 was connected to the server found with the network range 192.168.3.0/24. So we just simply assign a single IP address for it, which is the 192.168.3.254. To let the IM notice the existence of this particular network is directly connected to it. Next. NNT will be extra interface only available in the round mode only. In this interface, it requires users to map all internet traffic to address interface IP address before route to the internet. After the configuration, the rules over here will be automatically added to the firewall NNT tab. Users still can make change after the deployment mode. So I do simple configuration for it and add the internet traffic inside. 192.168.1. 0 slash 24 and also another local subnet under the core switch 192.168.2.0 slash 24 and map to the address interface IP Last step, we have to double check our configuration and ensure it is valid. Once we done, we can commit the result and wait for the IM finish to restart the device again. After we done the deployment mode, some of the internet users still unable to access the outside internet due to the routing table issue. We have to add necessary routing for the topology mentioner. To add the static route, we can add a new IPv4 static route under the network that again. Before we add those routing entry, we can double check our routing table to ensure all internal traffic and outside internet are reachable. By default setting of the IAN, the default static route will be automatically added in the routing table. It will directly point to the ISP devices which is 192.200.200.1 IP address and the connected WAN interface Ethernet 2. After that, all directly connected subnet will also include in the routing table. According our topology, there is only one route node exists in the routing table, which is 192.168.2.0/24. So we have to add that particular subnet with the IPv4 static route for it. We just simply Enter the network address and sign a mask and also fill up with the network address that reach to the subnet which is layer 3 courses IP address 192.168.1.1 User can select the Ethernet Zero interface for it or else let the IAM automatically learn it with the network address Once we done, we can double check the routing table again. Now the new routing entry has been added with the valid interface which is Ethernet 0. So that's all for my tutorial. Thank you.